Hi, this is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Shalom Ubracha. Last time we met and spoke about the holy meditation. Meditation that is based on our belief in Hashem Eloke Israel, the Creator, that He chose our nation to be the light to the wide world and to illuminate the world with His light under His rules, by His guidings, and the guidings of the chosen ones, the righteous ones that were shining in all generations and fixed the world and brought the message to us, delivered past that flaming holy torch from one generation to the next until us receiving it today from the elders, from the righteous ones. Based on that tradition and based on the faith that is rolling in the streets, the real spirit of the Creator, the spirit of Mashiach that is hovering above the water, like that it's written in the Zohar Kadosh. Even people that don't know how to fill their buckets from the water of the Torah, from the holy water of the Bible and the traditional wisdom, the oral Torah that has been given to us, even they can receive from the wisdom of the Creator because His Spirit is hovering above the water. Not only the righteous ones got the ability to purify themselves and to get into the water and to be purified by them. Not only those ones that are able to swim in the sea of wisdom, to understand the meaning of all verses, are able to drink and breathe the Spirit of Hashem. Because our beloved and merciful Father in Heaven sent His Spirit to hover above the water, like the verse is saying, Veruach Elokim merachefet al penehamayim. Above the water, His Spirit is hovering. Even when you go to the sea, when you stand in front of a source of water, you can feel the holiness, and you can feel the positive vibes and energy that is coming even if you haven't put one finger into the water already you feel that there is a different spirit over there even sitting in front of an open book without understanding the holy language and the meaning of the verses doesn't mean that you're not able to enjoy from the light of the ancient wisdom that is written and carved on those holy pages of Torah. Like I said in our last session, there are few ways of meditation, of holy meditation that have been described to us by the righteous ones and I'm sure that there are many more that I might not be even aware of. Many people, many righteous people practiced and put a lot of effort to find ways how to illuminate the world with the light of the Creator. And big numbers of them found ways and expressed it. Last time we tried a little bit to sing to Hashem. And today I wanted to discuss a different way that is also connected to prayer. But I wanted to explain something. The words 
of our prayers are vessels to contain bounty. The light of the Creator, the light that the Creator used to create the world, is a simple light that is shining and illuminating and healing the wide world with His pleasant sending simple light. Now corresponding to our vessels, we will receive the light that is required for our completion. Now if for an example, a person needs money, and that's his prayer, those are his needs, and he will come in front of the Creator and will pray simply, for money. Please, Father in Heaven, I want to pay my bills. Please, Father in Heaven, I want to be able to buy gifts to my children for their birthdays. Please, Father in Heaven, I want to have the ability to buy new clothing for the holidays. Please, Father in Heaven, that I won't owe so much money to so many people. He is just literally asking for cash, for money. Please, Father in Heaven, I need 500 for today, I need another 1,000 for tomorrow. By asking, requesting certain requests and using certain words, He is putting vessels in certain shapes. Another person that finds himself arguing with his wife all day long, cannot handle his children, doesn't know what to do in his house, will set different vessels while praying. He will use different words while praying and calling the Creator for His help. Please, Father in Heaven, my wife and I, we have so many issues. He is putting different vessels. I don't know what to do with the kids. I don't know what to do with shopping. I don't know what to do. I'm waking up late. I don't know what to do. I miss my morning prayer. I don't know what to do with this, with that. I want to move to the Holy Land. I want to build my house. I want someone to, to babysit my dog when I'm in uh, Maui for the weekend. Oh, okay. Your prayers are the vessels to receive the simple light of the Creator. Now with that understanding, a person can go very, very far. Because now you can understand that you don't need to be a genius that your prayers will be answered. You don't need to figure out the code and the normal value of the words that is needed for you to be answered, or how many times you need to torture yourself rolling naked in snow, or fasting for 36 nights or days or whatever. You don't need all those combinations when you realize that Hashem gave you a tool that is the highest tool of them all, that is called prayer. And the Creator is close to everyone that will call Him with truth. So you need to be honest in your prayers and to talk about the things that are needed. You don't need to act and play like the Creator, I want to be righteous, I want to be pure, I don't want to see this world anymore. You're lying. If in reality you wouldn't want to look at this world, you would close your eyes. But you do and you're hungry, and you're thirsty, and you're swallowing every sight, and you keep on opening your eyes and looking for more. So be honest and don't lie to yourself and to the Creator, and tell Him, listen, I have a problem with my eyes. I heard that it's better for a person to guard his eyes, and to be humble, and to be happy with his share, but I see that I'm not holding in that level, and my eyes are hungry, and I feel that thirst, and I'm starving, and my eyes are swallowing the world, and no amount of sights is enough for me. Please, Father in Heaven, now you're putting vessels that fit to your need. And those prayers will be the prayers to be answered. And if you pray on different things that are not in truth, in reality, concerned to your situation, connected to your needs, 
the Creator won't answer those prayers because those prayers are false prayers. They're not based on truth. So those are broken vessels. Those are vessels that cannot contain the bounty because they are full of arrogant. Full vessels cannot contain bounty. Empty vessels, vessels that are expressing your emptiness, your humility, your real needs, are prayers, are vessels that can contain bounty from the Creator. Now, like I said before, you don't need to be a genius to know on what to pray and how many prayers you should pray. You should pray until you will be answered. That's it. Simple as that. And pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. When Moses went up to heaven, went up on Mount Sinai and from there somehow climbed to heaven, he, wa he went with no time limits. He didn't have an appointment. I'm going to do this and that. And okay, tomorrow at 2, I'm coming. He went up to heaven. And after 40 days, the Creator told him, I answered your prayer. I'm going to forgive them like you asked me to. But if the Creator wouldn't answer after 40 days, Moses would continue. Moshe would continue 41 day, 42nd, 43rd, and he would continue. He wouldn't stop because his will was honest and he wanted the salvation and not the title, Oh, Moses prayed 40 days in a row. No. He couldn't care less about his honor. He wanted the salvation and he went to grab it, to, to bring it. Now until the moment that he holds it and delivers it to those ones that he came to take it for them, he's not coming back. So when you need something, just continue. For an example, you want to buy a house. You want to be healthy. You want to make Aliyah to live in the Holy Land. You don't need to think what you need. You can stand or sit or lie down in your bed and just to say billion times, Please, Father in heaven, buy me a house. Give me a house. I need a house. I need a house. How much I dream about that house. Give me a house. I want to have a house of my own. You don't need to be a genius to pray for your own house. And if those prayers are waking you up to pray on the Holy Temple, on other people that you know that have issues with houses, great! Express your heart, your sensitivity, what that you felt that the Creator is hinting you to pray for. If those things are coming in your mind, it means that you need to pay attention to those holy thoughts that came up to your mind, to your awareness, and to uplift those thoughts and to pray for those things. Please Hashem, I'm not the only one that is suffering. Yes, I am in a big need. I really feel I must have that salvation. But this neighbor of mine, I know he's struggling too. And you, the creator of the world, you lost your house 2,000 years ago and more. And who am I to pray for my house when your house has been destroyed? And on and on and on. And when there are real homeless people in the streets that really don't have a house and don't even have the option to pay rent, even out on a cheap apartment like mine, and on and on and on. And people in that place and in that place. And you can express your heart. Now those honest prayers will be the prayers to be answered. And you should understand that the Creator does not expect from you to be in levels that you're not at. The Creator, He loves you in unconditional love. And He understands your condition. And He's aware to your needs and to your power and ability. And He's the one that is limiting you as well. He's not only the salvation and the great potential of the future. He is also the constrictions and the limitations. He is also the challenges and the difficulties. There is nothing in this world that is not the Creator Himself. Now we from our prison, from our difficulty, being challenged to believe in Him even though that it's hard. 
today I wanted to show and to present to you another aspect of prayer that is written and very famous and known and I told you a little bit about that prayer and this is a very important prayer for people that wants to enjoy the Creator's um, protection people that wants to feel safe people that are suffering from fears from anxieties this is a very important very deep and high prayer very useful again we wrote the prayer in the holy ancient language of hebrew and also it's also on our facebook page uh, you can see that over there as well under it we wrote in English the way that you pronounce those holy words and for your understanding we wrote the translation of, of the words themselves to understand what we're asking for and then so first of all I'll read it to you and then I'll explain a little bit more then we will try to practice it and again Except of that prayer, you can pray and do in the same way with any other verse, with any other prayer. Or that it's a prayer that you wrote and composed and it's your honest prayer. Or that it's a verse or a different verse that someone else wrote or said or that you just heard that you felt inspired, that you felt connected to. And it's all good. Because if those words really fit to your condition, to your needs, there's nothing disqualifying that. There's no problem. Even it's written, Even if you're Jewish and you want to keep following the tradition that's been given by your ancestors, still even your ancestors allowed you to enjoy the wisdom that the nations have. If you found, met a genius doctor from a different nation, not to consult him on your health issues, it, it, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. No one told you to follow him and that he from now on going to be your spiritual mentor and that he's your teacher and your spiritual master. No, he's a doctor and you can listen to his life experience based on life experience of many other people that spend days and nights and years of their lives and generations in trying to learn math on your own from the beginning. No, I don't want to learn from them what they achieved on math. Okay, so you're going to be ignorant and won't know anything. Because you cannot start over for things that uh, the people invest in, it's not, there's no reason. You can't build a house without enjoying the wisdom of, of ancient generations from different nations. You cannot, you, you cannot do anything. You cannot speak on your phone. It's an iPhone. Oh, no, iPhone is Jewish, you're right. It's a problem. <laughs> anyway, like the that prayer builds confidence and soon we'll discuss and explain why and how. Other prayers can build things that you need, like that the Creator can provide money and all of my needs, that the Creator can make peace between people and between nations and whatever. Whatever you need and you're willing to pray for, you can take that verse or a prayer or to compose your own prayer and just to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until you feel that you've been answered in a way. Even if it's not the complete salvation that you need, try to feel the attachment, try to feel the spiritual aspect of being answered. Open up yourself that in that prayer you will express your honesty and you're really going to ask it from your heart and try to feel the light of Hashem that is shining upon you to answer your prayers. And slowly, slowly, one day at a time, all of our prayers are being answered. Okay? So now we're going to start. I'm just, first of all, going to read that prayer to you. B'Shem Adonai, Elohei Yisrael, Mimini Michael, Mismoli Gavriel, Milfanai Uriel, Meachorai Rafael, Ve'al Roshi Shechinat El. 
That's how we say and pronounce this prayer in Hebrew. The prayer says that in the name of God, the God of Israel, Hashem, that we believe in Him, He is decreeing, He is making that to happen without me even praying for it. The Creator made it to be in that nature that from my right side there is an angel that protects me that his name is Michael. And from my left side there is an angel that protects me that his name is Gabriel. In front of me there is an angel that walks in front of me protecting me, opening ways for me. His name is Uriel Mechorai. Behind me the angel Raphael that is healing me. Ve'al Roshi, and above my head, Shekhinat El, the Spirit of God, the Shekhinah, the feminine aspect of the Creator that spends her time, His time, with us in the exile, protecting us. So we are surrounded with light, with angels that are protecting us from every direction. Every one of them is appointed uh, on, on, on certain issues, has certain powers, abilities of protection, of healing, of wisdom, of power, and on. And they're all here for me, for you. And when you pray that prayer, you should strengthen yourself to believe in that. You don't need to remind Hashem to protect you. The Creator made the world like that, that you are well protected. Those are the angels that are surrounding you when you are aware of their existence and when you're not. When we are praying, we're praying on our mindset, on our awareness, that we will recognize the godliness that is surrounding us and, 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 and healing us and protecting us. So like I told you, it's written in one of the books that a prayer with tune with music prayer while singing is a prayer that compared to Estela Malka, the Estela the Queen, that when she dressed her royal garments, the king Achashverosh was not able to refuse talking to her when she entered to his place. Because that she dressed her royal garments, because that she was so beautiful, so that righteous man that wrote that thing, he said that when you dress your prayer in music, the Creator cannot resist to that prayer. Father in Heaven is not able to ignore your request. Which music? Which tune? The one that you feel connected to in the nature of your spirit, uh, by the roots of your soul. You should sing from the bottom of your heart. Now, I, I, I made up my own song, my own music. That's how I felt like singing it. My kids, when I'm singing with them Kriyat Shema at night before, uh, before going to sleep, so we're singing all, all my songs because that's the way I just taught them. A few weeks ago, one of my children, Israel Natan, the smallest one, he asked me, did you, did you uh, compose that, the, the, the songs that we're singing, Kiyat I told him, yes. You never heard it from no one else? I said, no, it's my, those are my songs. This is my music. This is the music that I feel very connected to. And even though that's, uh, that most of the times I can sing that prayer in that tune, in a different day, in a different night, I can find myself composing another music, another tune, or even using another music that I know of, from different sources and just to uplift it, connect it into the prayer and using it with that melody, with that tune. And, and so I can, I can show you mine and I can explain to you how I'm doing it only for an example. My way of playing it is not important to you. You should find your own way. If you enjoy it and that's what you feel connected to, you can also flow with that. But the truth is that every person has his own music. And you should find your own way how to sing your prayers.
and how to connect yourself to the prayer in a way that you will dress your requests and you will deliver them to the King of Honor and that you will ask it in the way that you feel with the honesty of yours and, and sensitivity of yours and sense of humor and whatever you hold, that's what you need to give. Shlomo Chaim, are we able to provide to everyone those wonderful prayers? What? Okay. So that's the way I'm singing and asking that prayer. And you can repeat, we'll do it uh, too many times like we did last time, okay? Shem Adonai, Elohei Israel, Mimini Michael, Mismoli Gabriel, Milfanai Uriel, Machorai Rafael, Veal Roshi, Shechinat El, Beshem Adonai, Elohei Israel, Mimini Michael. משמאלי גבריאל, מלפניי אוריאל, מאחוריי רפאל, ועל ראשי שמדינת אל, בשם אדוני, אלוהי ישראל, מימיני מיכאל, משמאלי גבריאל, מלפניי אוריאל, מאחוריי רפאל. In the same way every person can pray and every person should pray to find your own way of asking and requesting. Now we'll try to sing it a few times more. I'm suggesting you all, after we finish singing or while singing, close your eyes and I'll help you to understand a few more things about meditation and try to give you more tips how to connect yourself to the inner light, your individual and private light that no one in the world can access, no one in the world can touch your light. It's your private zone, it's your safe place, it's your inner place. No one can penetrate and touch that place, it's all yours. I'm going to tip you and advise you how to connect yourself to that place and from that place only to rise and to grow to a very high level of awareness and faith in the Creator and in yourselves. Okay? B'Shem Adonai, Elohei Yisrael, Mimini Michael, Mismoli Gabriel, Milfanai Uriel, Machorai Rafael, Ve'al Roshi, בשם אדוני אלוהי ישראל, מימיני מיכאל, משמאלי גבריאל, מלפניי אוריאל, מאחוריי רפאל, מעל ראשי שכינת אל. בשם אדוני אלוהי ישראל, מימיני מיכאל, משמאלי גבריאל, מלפניי אוריאל, מאחוריי רפאל, ועל ראשי שכינת The holy angels, those four angels, are being used as the holy chariot of the Creator. When the Creator is coming down to this world to visit us, to heal us, to look at us, the holy angels are carrying the throne of honor down to this world. And this is why in that prayer we just asked that in the name of Hashem, of the Creator of the world, that those angels that are surrounding us, that they will deliver what it is above our heads. It's the Shekhinat El, 
It's the Shechina of the Creator. It's the Spirit of God. So that Holy Chariot is surrounding each and every one of us. And the Spirit of the Creator is hovering above our heads and filling us from within. Every person in the universe must connect himself to that knowledge. And when we are connecting ourselves to that, we can also travel and rise with the Creator in His Holy Chariot to the highest places of them all. When we are meditating, we are reaching places that no other person ever visit, ever visit and been there before. Because you are now, when you're closing your eyes, you're traveling in your own spiritual worlds. The Creator, He is the Creator of the worlds. He created many worlds and every person is an individual world of His own. It's true that from our external side, from our outside, we are all in the same planet, on the same earth, can be in the same physical location. But if you take your attention and focus into your inside, so then you are in a place that no person ever stepped in that place before. And you now, in the present, in that place, can do whatever you like. If a person desire to heal the world, he should just request in his inner world, using his inner connection from the Creator, to deliver health and strength and power to the sick if he's praying for himself or if he's praying for other ones. If you feel that in that place you don't feel so comfortable, you can think in your mind, you can imagine that you are now in a different place. In your good place, in your holy place, one will find himself lying on an empty beach. One will find himself in a huge living room on a gigantic sofa. One will sit alone in the forest. One will sit in his own room on a simple wooden chair. You should find your place. And I'm talking about the place of your mind, the place of your thoughts. You should go in your mind into your safe place and over there to express your needs. If you want to ask from the Creator to reveal His loving kindness, you should approach the Creator. How are you going to approach Him? You should believe in yourself and approach Him. Describe yourself, imagine yourself standing in front of the King of all Kings seeing all the lights, being exposed to all the beauty, enjoying all kinds of satisfaction that are the result of a person standing in front of the Almighty. And like that, with a happy heart and a wishing soul, being humble, respecting, asking from the Creator, to reveal His unconditional love to all of His beloved ones, to reveal His loving kindness to us all, to heal all of our mental sickness, to remove all obstacles from our way. If you have different needs and you want to ask for a house, if you want to buy a car, go into your own quiet place inside yourself to that place that you know that it's only you and your father in heaven you and your creator and in that place say to your beloved father i need a house 
I need a new car. I'm stuck with that old car. I don't know what to do. If I won't ask it from you, so from who I'm going to ask? I try to ask my mom. I try to ask my dad. I try to ask a loan from the bank. Everyone are in the same need. I'm not finding the right way. I'm not finding the answer to my question when I'm going to find my solutions in the outside world. Please guide me into the real path of truth. That I'll know that the only one that I can count on is you. That the only one in the world that really it's worth it for me to ask something from is you. And that I will never give up and that I'll never drop that wisdom, and that I'll always follow the light of Emunah, the light of faith in you, Emunah in Hashem, Emunah in the Creator, faith in the Creator, in our Father in Heaven. And if you don't feel that connection, and if you feel that you're shooting your words to the air, and if you feel that you're so empty and oh, and look at him, he's so righteous. Look how he's talking with intention. He has such a huge heart and me, I'm an empty person. I don't feel that connection. I feel silly. I feel dumb. I feel so far. I don't feel that attraction and that connection and that inspiration and that enormous love. I'm stuck in my home under my filthy sheets, don't know how to pray, cannot express my thoughts, so confused, so ADD, don't know what to do with myself. You know what's your solution? Talk about that. Be honest. Say to the Creator, I don't feel you. Where in the world are you? Why are you hiding your face from me? I'm calling and calling and there's no answer. Where are you? Why are you hide, hiding your face from me? Look at me. Look at my house. Look at my filthy sheets. Look at my clothing. Look at my face. How many times I disappointed myself. When? When you'll answer my prayers. What's going to be with me? You've forgotten about me. Are you ignoring me, Hashem? Please don't ignore me. Please accept my prayers. If you will pray prayers from the heart, and those prayers will go from an honest place, in a sincere way out to heaven, your prayers and all your requests will be answered. The Creator is the God of truth, and every verse and every word that He told us ever, is stable and gonna stand for good and we must connect ourselves to the Torah and to the wisdom only through our truth and our belief so if your faith is weak you should work on your faith if your confidence is weak you don't need to judge yourself on not being confident enough you should ask from the Creator to give you confidence, to show you that He's protecting you, to show you miracles and to make wonders in your life that will prove to you that He is your guarding angel, that He's above your head, that from your right side you will have Michael by your side, and from the left you will have Gabriel, in front of you, Uriel, and behind you, Raphael, and above your head, you will feel the divine pleasant of the holy Shekhinah that is hovering above your head. And if you struggle in different things, you should talk about those things. And not to be embarrassed on expressing yourself to the one that knows all. Nothing is hidden from Him. His eyes are open wide and walking and seeing you in the darkest darkness of them all. And you should know that for the Creator, the night is illuminating and shining like the brightest day. And not to be scared and afraid from that. 
Just use it as an opportunity to express your honesty. To be honest with Him, it's to be one with Him. When you're lying, you're creating and building walls of separation. And when you break those walls of plasters and husks and lies and curtains and coverings, and you touch the core of truth, even while saying to the Creator, your lowest truth, but from an honest place, I'm disappointing myself over and over. I'm demolishing and destroying my own life with my bare hands. My hands are full of blood. My mouth is filthy from horrible words. My mind is impure from foreign and negative thoughts. Destroyed my own childhood, my own youth. Relationships I destroyed. If you will come with that broken heart, and just express your regret and say you are sorry and ask for power and ask for salvation your request will be answered because it came out of the heart of truth and words that are coming out from the heart are entering into the heart of the ones that receives them and that's the heart of the Creator, that His heart is full of compassion and grace and kindness. And when His heart accepts your prayers, your prayers are being answered. And know that sometimes certain things, it takes some time that they will come. That your prayers will be answered, sometimes it takes a while and you should wait. And that expectation and that time of waiting is that time that you will pray some more. And if you pray some more, you'll expand your vessels. And when you'll have more vessels, you'll have the ability to enjoy from more bounty. If you are asking for water and you have one cup, that cup of water cannot satisfy you completely. But if you will wait and pray some more in every word that you put, every line that you set, you are preparing vessels for the bounty to fill. And in the end of time, when your salvation will come, the buckets and barrels and sources of water that you'll have the ability and the access to enjoy from, will be so huge and so divine and so pure by the purity of the intention of your heart while praying and setting those vessels. How pure the water will be. The answers to your prayer depends in the intention of your heart while asking. So aim your heart to the most honest place and just ask for good. And don't hold yourself back. Because the Creator is the one that wants to answer our prayers. And if you're finding yourself praying, you should know that someone puts those prayers in your mouth because His intention is that you will be answered. Like we're saying in the first line of our quiet prayer, Shmona Yisrael, that we're praying morning, noon and night. Hashem, Sfatai Tiftach, Upi Yagid Tehilatecha. Please, Hashem, open my lips. We are aware to the fact that we cannot open our mouths without the help of heaven. We're asking from Him to give us the power to pray. Open my lips and then my mouth will praise you. So if you're finding yourself praising Hashem, praying to Hashem, you should know that that's the second part of that first line. And in the beginning, the Creator opened your mouth, opened your lips, that you'll have the ability to express your thoughts and your holy desires, because the Creator wants to answer all your prayers. All your prayers.
all your prayers. And you should believe in the Creator with no end to your faith. That the Creator, He is the one that is opening the sea when He wants you to walk in dry land in the middle of the ocean. When He wants you to have billions of dollars, you won't have the ability to count the number of coins and bills that you'll have. When the Creator will want to fix your relationship, the pleasant that you will feel and enjoy from won't be describable. No one in the world will have the ability to understand what kind of joy and satisfaction you're experiencing. But when will be that moment that your prayer will be answered? It will be in the moment of your humility and truth. In the moment that you will understand that your salvation is only in the hand of heaven and you will ask for your needs with an honest heart that recognize the truth that only Father in Heaven can supply the answer, your prayer will be answered in that moment itself. We can all open our eyes and bring ourselves back to our fake reality under the limitation of time, under the limitation of material. under the curtains of this world but while being in this dark place that is called and been described as the world of lie we must remember that our souls are connected with a connection of truth to the source of truth to the world of beyond beyond the matrix beyond all kinds of limitations beyond time and space and shapes and forms, beyond colors and smells and sounds, beyond all kinds of constrictions, the infinity itself. And that's who we are. And with that we should go further and further. You can all repeat and hearing this video over and over and trying to reconnect yourself in that way or in a similar way or in your own way that it's the best way just don't do it on the highway <laughs> and from heaven they're going to assist you that all your prayers and requests will be answered Amen The Muna Project is a non-profit organization and I think that it's the best organization to support in the world we're asking you all to help us, to help us, to help you. You put your charity on the waves of the water, and with time you'll find that charity, that bread, coming back to your place. When you help, you help to yourself. When you help, the merit of your help is helping your beloved ones is opening gates for all of those ones that you want them to be answered, you want them to develop and to grow. I bless you from the bottom of my heart that all of your prayers will be answered. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.